<coughs> what's left of my macaroni and cheese got it all cut up into little squares gonna do some deep frying mac cheese later I don't know maybe tonight tomorrow but that's that and making my last bowl of macaroni and cheese threw in some steak look how creamy my mac and cheese is can't get no better than that I got nine different cheeses I got smoked gouda American extra aged parmesan Velveeta, some taco cheese, from Italian blend cheese, a little bit of mozzarella, some cream cheese. Look at that. Don't that look good? I had to put a little extra milk in it though. It was a little too stiff. With all them cheeses. I can still see bits and pieces of smoked gouda. That is delicious. I can smell this. The house is so full of smoky flavor now from being put in a smoker for an hour and a half. I know there's about 10 people who's tried it and they all love it. So I think I found my new recipe. But. Next time I will cut back on a little bit of the cheese because I tell you, you really can't see it in here no more, but I got Zayaco Chop Chop, which is a dehydrated veggies, onions, parsley, red and green bell pepper, celery. I'm sure there's a few others in there, but got some Cajun bait garlic some Cajun bait um, sweet Creole onion didn't need to smoke jalapeno because I was already making it smoky put all that nice little bits and pieces of steak in there Nothing better than home cooked meals. I don't go to restaurants. You never know what they're putting in your food today. Hell, you don't even know what you're putting in your food in the grocery stores, but we all gotta get back to the basics. And home cooking is where it starts. <laughs> 